filed immediately under games I didn't expect to have a sequel, but that I'm delighted that they exist, we have Plantera 2 Golden Acorn, which is coming to release in April 2023. I've been very privileged to play an advanced copy of the game, probably because I double dipped on PC and Vita for the original, and I'm delighted to just say that Plantera 2 is more of the same, like twice as much. <laughs> if you didn't play the original, it's a mixture of a clicker game because you'll need to click and collect all of the produce and the yield that your garden is providing to gain coins. It's an idler because you can uh, employ little mellow creatures to collect stuff for you and so you can be as active and passive in the Plantera experience as you want. When you close down the game you can also buy with your coins an ability to keep the game going whilst it's closed and collecting currency for you. And it's also a sandbox building game because what yours do is start out with a very small garden and in Plantera 2 it's built around the idea of centred uh, on a like golden acorn tree. And what you'll have is some vegetables, bushes, trees, animals, decorations, uh, and later on some stuff to build out your central tree. And you'll be placing them into the various different slots that you've got in your garden. Once you've clicked around to get some of those initial uh, placements bringing you coins, you'll start to get critters coming into the garden who want to steal some of your produce. Now there's always more produce than what they can actually steal, but what you can do is go around as a clicker and hammer them and get them out again, a bit like a whack-a-mole. At some point though, you'll end up levelling up through the XP that you create, or collect, sorry, as you collect all of these different uh, produce and yield from your garden. And that then unlocks the next vegetable bush, tree, animal, decoration. And so this is the game loop that Plantera does. This original was exactly the same, but with Plantera 2, there is twice as much of everything. There's also a additional water layer because your Plantera garden is next to a lake this time. So fish will dive out of the water, you can place lily pads uh, and little water lilies on the surface as decorations, and later on dolphins can go around and actually catch some of the fish for you, which then converts into coins too. On the ground the same stuff kind of applies, so as you kind of build out your garden, the more plots you get in, the more workers you'll have, the more you level up, and the cycle gets quicker and quicker. There is a secondary currency though in Plantera 2, and this is golden acorns. And this starts off with the central tree, which doesn't really exist too much at the very start of the game. But as you level up over time, you'll start to get decorative points, which is Plantera's version of like added extras that you'll have bought and dotted around your garden and they contribute to this kind of golden acorn currency which allows you to then grow and expand the tree. This also allows you to add on golden acorns to really like exponentially increase the speed of how that tree grows and the idea is for you to get to level 45 in the game overall and expand the tree out so huge that you can then get inside that big oak tree and meet like the ultimate being that's residing inside it to unlock god mode which is where you can then play around with all of the different speeds of different things and alter the game how you see fit. There isn't really a difficulty curve to this game, and the only thing that I found to be mildly annoying is that the UFOs, once you unlock the cows, start to come in from the sky and can beam up your cows and take them away. And I had that happen once or twice where I wasn't really paying too much attention and was just enjoying the vibe of the game. So what I found was that I was every like 15 to 20 seconds just quickly nipping to either side of my garden through the convenient little like end buttons and arrows on the UI at the bottom of the screen so that I could just make sure a new UFO hadn't appeared and if I did I'd hammer it away so that I could keep my cows safe. Everything else just works and even if you pay no attention to the critters coming in and like herding up some of your animals or scaring away some of your uh, mellows it just still keeps things going and you'll still be gaining currency anyway, just not at the speed and proficiency that you would if you actually clicked around and actively participated. So Plantera 2 Golden Acorn just provides more of the same, bigger, I would say better as well. Um, I was quite pleased that when I had a really, really busy garden, like because I went beyond level 45 to see just how busy you could make it. 
um, and keep on expanding the game from there. That although there was a tiny little bit of slowdown in some cases, you could really push your garden much further than the original game did. And that's really what I wanted from a sequel that I didn't expect to get. So delighted that this exists. I'm sure lots of casual clicker and idler games looking for a relaxed time will enjoy Plantera 2 Golden Acorn. And it will be coming out in April 2023. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higher plane network. Your support makes all the difference and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.